Welcome back, everyone. It is December 21st, 1941, and we're here with another turn of... Ye no, not Yamamoto's Folly. This is Alphabet Command, our co-op game versus Andy Mack. Let's see what this turn has in store for us. Lots of chaos around here, around northern Borneo. He's bringing some carriers and some battleships into the area. So... We can't have free reign on his ships like we did earlier. Plunger tries to put a torpedo in a Japanese cruiser, unfortunately misses. Still some high value Japanese ships here. We have the area plastered with submarines right now. I sent three destroyers in. Uh, they wind up finding uh, these, I think it's a cruiser and a battleship here. Not the uh, force that I wanted to encounter here. And the Express is going to get, I think, shredded because of it. Wanted to uh, find those uh, lower value APDs and, excuse me, those AKs and things like that. Not this, uh, this battleship force and... Yeah, we suffer because of it. Vendetta goes down. Definitely not the outcome we wanted here. So yeah, actually we lose both Vendetta and Express, both hit by torpedoes, which is bad luck for destroyers. But it's putting six shell hits on the Yuga, but she doesn't look like she's even on fire by the end of the combat. So yeah, that was uh, a little fruitless there from us. Unfortunate. Oh, and they're chasing us down here. I think the Electra is going to be in some trouble. I'm going to break off with no more damage to the Electra, so that's good. Hugo takes a shell hit. Uh, PT boats, uh, or HDMLs, I should say, uh, find this group as well, or this group finds them, and they're all going to get sunk. Goodbye, HDMLs. Oh, we have some mine hit sounds. Not exactly sure where that is. Some ASW action there at uh, Northern Borneo. Oh, and we have some sub-action there, uh, right outside of Victoria. I do have ASW groups there. I'm disappointed that they didn't do their job. Uh, but it looks like Evokin loses one of his uh, XAKLs there. Uh, right off Victoria, which is of course near Seattle, and the uh, Alaskan Panhandle. Some of our PT boats uh, tangle with this cruiser group. But uh, both sides break off before uh, any major damage is done. An I for. Uh, yeah, puts Torpedo in five shell hits and another XAKL there. She's going to go down. Yep. And yet another one. Where are my uh, ASW task force? This submarine is taking out uh, uh, Evokin shipping here. A 
little night bombing of Parkfield. The Vokans put some Warhawks on Nightcap there, which will reduce the effectiveness of the bombers, even if the uh, um, fighters themselves don't get kills. They just kind of disrupt those attacks and uh, make the bombers a little less effective. Nice work by my Hudsons, uh, destroying two more planes on the ground at Kuantan. That's nice to see. Doesn't make up for the destroyers we lost earlier, but oh well. I'm just going to be bitter about that for a while. A little more night bombing here. ASW at Singapore, maybe that's where those subs were, uh, heavy damage on the S-102. Bombardment and Hilo with the uh, Battlecruiser Kanto is going to uh, uh, hurt those troops and He's probably planning on softening them up so he can take that base, which has eluded him so far. Just moderate casualties there. Nothing earth-shattering, but uh, it may, may, may make the difference. Oh, and they also bombard Sinkawang. Damaging quite a few of my planes on the ground. Luckily not doing too much damage to my ground forces, but um, it's preventing me from building forts, all the damage that those bombardments are doing, so that's unfortunate. And I'm bombarding Malacca with that Houston uh, task force. It's a clear terrain hex, so I'm just hoping that we can do a little damage there those troops, and not really much, just uh, 51 casualties. Not super effective. Landing at Lahui, on the island of Kauai. So yeah, he's definitely invested in taking uh, the uh, whole Hawaiian Islands here. Oh, it's some landing at Amchitka, so he's also being aggressive here in the uh, uh, Aleutians. And at Ulak, yeah, he's taking a lot of islands here in the Aleutians. That could be interesting. And Atka Island as well. It's just all the way up the illusion chain here. And Kiska. So all those islands are going to fall into his hands, and Adak too. Adak's one of, probably the most important base there in the Aleutians, and at least in the uh, Western Aleutians. That'll be an interesting challenge for us to, to deal with up there. Operating in those cold Arctic waters in the wintertime uh, puts a lot of damage on your ships, unfortunately. So we have our naval movement phase. A couple of French destroyers uh, 
encounter two cruisers and a destroyer. That's not what we want to see here. rather find soft targets, these destroyers were actually going a long way around Borneo, not wanting to tangle uh, with everything else, but they instead just wind up running into uh, this group here. The cask is on fire, pretty, pretty heavy fires on the cask, but all three of their ships are on fire as well. We do take out one of their uh, destroyers, but I don't know if the Lacasse is going to survive this. And these French destroyers are worth so much more than uh, those Japanese destroyers. So yeah, heavy fires and heavy damage on the Lacasse. Not sure if she's going to survive. Um, but the uh, Hirogotake takes two torpedo hits. Uh, and the Aoi, Oi? I don't know, uh, is sunk. So uh, that's a good, good result, all things considered. Um, the Hirogotake may not survive after taking two torpedoes. Stingray misses there. Another PT boat encounter there at uh, Sinkawang. Oh, and the S-405 rears its head, uh, sinking one of my sub-chasers that's meant to uh, uh, find the darn thing at, uh, near Ceylon there. And it sinks. Uh, four of my French destroyers find an invasion task force. This time it's well escorted with what looks like a battleship, or a battlecruiser Mikasa, so things may not very go very well uh, for us here. We prefer to find the unescorted task forces. Valmy and the Valbon both taking some big hits there. And so far, really not doing much damage to uh, their task force at all. Just some hits on the uh, Mikasa Yat and the Valmy goes down. That's uh, sad to see. Mikasa is on fire, but it doesn't look very, uh, very intense yet. definitely a uh, bigger prey than we were looking for. We were hoping to just find uh, one of these small little task forces that have been landing here uh, on New Guinea. And instead, we wind up finding a bunch of cruisers and uh, battleships and a large invasion task force. And as a result, um, I've already lost one destroyer. Uh, the Valbon is heavily damaged. And the Verdun uh, is on fire, and the Ambois is now heavily damaged as well. So not a great result for us. Yeah, Valmy sunk. Uh, no heavy damage on our two other destroyers that were uh, badly hit, so that's not too bad. But still, not the result we want. Oh well. One more PT boat uh, action with these HTMLs. And they easily get sunk here by uh, the Japanese task force. 
we're also going to lose this X AKL that was resupplying Pontianak. We're on to the air phase. So yeah, not a great result for uh, us at sea. Could have been worse though. Sweeping Sama again. We take out two fighters and lose one ourselves. A uh, big raid coming in. Escorted by Zeros, we do get among the bombers, but again, we are just not able to uh, do a lot of damage to those bombers before they bomb, which has uh, been pretty annoying. As a result, we lose three of our planes. Um, though we do take out, uh, it looks like, uh, eight of theirs. A little damage to the runway and the port there. This is bombing Guam. The Guam runway. Doing some good hits there. I don't know why he went for the runway. I would have gone after the troops at this point. Unless he just wanted to do damage to the uh, runway, so the fort stopped building, which is totally understandable. Also, a very large raid here at Wake, with some 68 Bettys and 13 Lizzes. Yeah, definitely a big, big raid. Again, doing some uh, runway damage there. And... This carrier group is content to just mess up our forces on these islands. This time they are not successful. Only 27 casualties there at Palmyra. Some un unescorted lilies come in, and we're able to clean those up pretty well, taking out five. That's a nice result. Uh, but now the sweeps come in, and that's not going to be good for us. Yeah, we do lose three planes in that sweep. More sweeps there, this time inconclusive. Uh, Wildcats uh, strafing at Wake, and they do a heck of a job. 42 casualties. It's more than I expected. A little bombing here from one of our Dutch bombers, and a single Dutch bomber comes in and plants a bomb on the uh, AK Thames Maru, so nicely done there. Some Catalinas are going to follow up. Putting torpedoes in two of these AKs, and they both go down. Uh, some more patrol and Dutch bombers come in. Planting a couple more bombs. And 13 more of my Dutch bombers. And they are not able to uh, do any damage, but the famous Maru uh, does sink. Catalina's carrying torpedoes come in, and looks like the uh, Sugiyama Maru is in trouble. Yep, she goes down. Falcons get in on the action, but uh, don't do any damage, but the uh, Nansen Maru sinks. Some Dornier's come in, but are fended off by roofs. This time, two of them get through. And plant two bomb hits on the AMC Sori Maru. Heavy fires, heavy damage, that's nice to see. Catalina's coming as well. These are just going to be carrying bombs, however. Yeah, don't do any, uh. They don't do any damage. Still trying to bomb here. These Hudsons finally getting a result, uh, disabling a couple of uh, uh, combat squads there at Kendari. 
I'm also bombing here southeast of Moulmain to slow down this unit that just popped up that's headed toward Moulmain. Um, we want to uh, slow them down so we can get a little more, a few more forces there. And I continue to bomb uh, at Chiang Mai. Unfortunately, not having much luck. Some Vindicators come in from Avokin. Oh, and nicely done. They put another bomb on the Sorry Maru. So one of them goes down after the combat. The Sorry Maru is going to be in rough shape. Big Betty Raid, probably flying from Camera Bay, come in and uh, do some damage to our forces at Miri. time, 10 Vindicators come in. Only 4 may get past the roofs. But do manage to uh, put a bomb on the Kamaru, which we get the um, fuel cargo burning, which is always a good sign message. And one of the Vindicators go down. Onto the PM air phase. Ooh, the Malin sinks. Actually, well, I don't think it was the Malin, but one of our French destroyers sinks up there. Sweeping over Singapore. And sweeping over Clark. Looks like uh, Avokin's cap is doing a nice job there. Five zeros destroyed uh, compared to four Allied aircraft. That's actually a really good result for these planes, for P-26s and P-36s and Buffaloes. Um, so yeah, really nicely, uh, nicely done there. Looks like this sweep may not be as successful. Uh, there's at least one zero down, but it looks like they're paying uh, paying in blood there for that. Yeah, two destroyed, and this time ten uh, Allied aircraft go down. Another deadly sweep, two zeros down compared to seven allied aircraft. We're sweeping into Singapore. And two to seven results that time. So, bloody day in the air. Betty's come in probably going after uh, our uh, destroyers, which retreated here, after their battle up here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like these buffaloes are taking too many of them out, which could prove deadly for our destroyers, especially if these uh, bombers are carrying torpedoes, which they probably are. Looks like we're scrambling more cap here, which is good. Yeah, scrambling more cap, that's great. So, uh, we should be able to, to fend these uh, bombers off. Oh, two still get through.
but thankfully they do not land any torpedoes, and we wind up taking out six of the bombers. So, phew, good result. I was a little worried there that we're going to lose yet another French destroyer today. All bombing at uh, Fenning Island. Big sweep at Singapore. One more Dutch bombing. No results. And again at this base southeast of Sarong. Catalina's come in. They may have more luck. They do not. Dorniers. Putting a bomb in the CL Tama. Nice job. And some Vindicators find a uh, task force here. Looks like the, uh, maybe this is uh, part of the uh, group that my destroyers tangled with earlier. Because some of these ships are dead in the water. Which makes me think that they were already damaged before uh, the Vindicators found them. So yeah, take out a uh, AP and a, a torpedo boat. That's nice to see. Another Vindicator strike here. On the Tama, two more uh, bomb hits. Heavy fires, heavy damage. The Tama was the only ship there. I wonder if we did take out that other cruiser that we put two torpedoes in. Oh, some more Bettys come in, going after our destroyers. May not be as lucky this time. Nope. They managed to fend them off, and uh, one of those Bettys goes down. Nice to see. Oh, here we go again. Come, come on, Buffaloes. Six get through. This could be bad. Whew. Luckily, uh, none of their torpedoes make a connection, and two of those Bettys go down. And even more Bettys come through. They really want to sink those ships. Same three get through. Whew. And luckily, uh, none connect, and one gets destroyed by flak from our destroyers. Oscar sweep this time over Clark Field. Looks to be pretty effective. Okay, now we're uh, getting in among them. Yeah, two of them go down, but they take out uh, five of their aircraft. Bloody bloody sweeps today. Good job from the uh, K-12, putting a uh, torpedo into an AK here. Oh, but the uh, I-106 uh, puts a torpedo in a uh, one of our oilers there. Those are the tan oilers. They're old and not very good, but still, um, she's definitely going to go down with those uh, three torpedo hits. And the Van Gent just can't fend the uh, submarine off. Our uh, French... Uh, Submarine the Pro-T, though, uh, gets a little revenge, putting a uh, torpedo in a Japanese oiler, which is much more valuable than the Tan was. And it sounds like it might have sunk, too. Looks like an invasion at Palmyra. Probably going to lose all of the Lion Islands here. And a uh, invasion at Christmas Island, too. Holy cow! Um... Andy Mack likes to say that he's not very good at playing Japan, but he's able to do a lot of amphibious invasions very, very quickly.
Shock attack at Hilo, and Hilo finally falls. Wow, so the big island of Hawaii completely under Japanese control now. Naga falls there in southern Luzon. Miri is still holding on. Palmyra holds on actually pretty well here. Uh, one to five assault. Doing some good damage to uh, that Japanese group. Japanese like LCU, I should say. Uh, Christmas Island does not fare as well. They get a one to one reduced fortifications. Uh, that will probably fall in the near future. And just wake. Bombardment at Lahui 2. He has moved a tank regiment into uh, Sinkwang. It used to be just the 41st, 41st Guard Division there. Ulek Falls. So yeah, quite the day. Um, our destroyers bit off more than they could chew and paid for it, and so that was sad to see, but still we uh, uh, sh sunk a little more shipping than we lost today, that's for sure. Um, definitely some unfortunate uh, sub-action there near Victoria. I'm going to have to check on my ASW groups and see why uh, they aren't uh, attacking that sub there. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the uh, Discord. Take care.